we are now going to look at cyber security now as we know that how we like we have real societies similarly their virtual variant is a cyber society and how an actual society is vulnerable to crime so similarly in a very similar fashion a cyber society is vulnerable or is open to a cyber crime so now in the presence of cyber crime a very essential aspect is cyber security which we are now going to look at the topics that we are going to cover are firstly we are going to look at the objectives of this particular lecture we are going to see what exactly is cyber security then what is the need of having cyber security major security problems their solutions as well as the safety measures security measures and then the broad advantages of having cyber security the objectives of this particular lecture are that we want to educate and create awareness on the use of technology internet media and its implications for uh, preventing possible cyber crimes uh, and we want to look at possible interventions or measures that can be taken in order to avoid getting victimized or in order to getting uh, abused by a certain cyber crime for this comes into play cyber security now what is cyber security cyber security refers to the technologies and processes designed to protect computers networks and data from unauthorized access and attacks delivered through the internet by cyber criminals the purpose or motivation of cyber security is protecting computer systems and information from unauthorized access or destruction or abuse well there are three primary issues or three aspects uh, of cyber security which we call the cia triad c refers to confidentiality which assures that only authorized user may be able or may be allowed to access a resource i refers to integrity which is an assurance that resources have not been modified and a refers to availability which is an assurance that authorized user may access a resource when requested now uh, you know before we uh, before we delve into cyber security it is important to establish or re realize or agree on the need of having cyber security well we need cyber security because constant caution is needed in order to deter thieves who would steal financial property and personal identification data we require cyber security uh, because it helps in securing data from threats such as data theft or misuse we require cyber security because it safeguards the system from viruses and further cyber security is required because it helps us in attaining in 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 you know reaching the balance of providing information to those who need it while taking action to mitigate the dynamic threats posed by cyber thieves and cyber terrorists further we need cyber security especially on our home computer uh, systems because home computers are one of the most popular targets for intruders uh you know uh, cyber criminals uh, they look for credit card numbers they look for bank account information they also look for identity uh, documents passports id cards and and usually they use uh, your computer you know they even do that that they use your home computer after intruding it in order to make other attacks on other computers on the internet then why is it that intruders attack home computers well they do so because uh, you know the home computers that we have they're not very secure and they're easy to break into and also because as individuals not each one of us is that apt at technology that we're able to you know fully fully safeguard it and how do they attack your computer what are what is the modus operandi uh, they send you emails with viruses and and they usually send them from let's say a certain somebody that you know so that you're tempted to click it they may send you emails with viruses which are promising that you've won a million dollars in a certain lottery scheme uh, they might send you emails from a loved one uh, you know uh, saying that their loved one or that friend has is in an emergency and need your urgent help so that you know you're extremely tempted 
to open that email and then your home computer becomes a recipient of the enclosed virus. Then they often install new programs that let them continue to use your computer. It's almost like a backdoor that, you know, they install a program on your computer and then they're able to use your computer to further carry out cyber crimes. Then, uh, you know, they, they send you Trojan horses, which are those programs which are used as the backdoors. Now that we have identified that, you know, cyber crimes exist and there's a swear need for uh, cyber security in the presence of those cyber crimes, especially it is individuals like you and me who require cyber security because it is a home computers, a personal computers, which, is, which are most vulnerable. Let's move further. Now, the major security problems or the major threats which exist include viruses, worms, hackers, uh, malware, Trojan horses, as well as password cracking. Uh, now, let's visit, uh, you know, these security threats in a little bit detail. A virus is a program that is loaded into your computer without your knowledge and runs against your wishes. And it can do various malicious and what I may say evil things. Now, viruses can reach your computers in a number of ways. They can come through CDs, they can come through emails, they can come through, you know, uh, unchecked USB drives, they can come through websites, they can come through certain downloaded files. Therefore, be very sure or check each one of these with viruses before you begin to use them. Uh, now, what is the solution? Well, there, when there's a problem, there's always a solution. Well, the easiest solution is that you install an antivirus program. Um, uh, and, and that prevents you from a large number uh, from, of viruses. Further, you take these basic precautions. You know, do not uh, open suspicious emails. Handle suspicious emails with care. Do not, uh, you know, put unchecked, unverified CDs or, or USB drives into your system. Uh, then moving on from the viruses, the second problem is hackers. Who is a hacker? A hacker is a person who secretly gets access to a computer system in order to get information, in order to cause damage. Hackers attack where they see weakness. A system that hasn't been updated recently has flaws so that it can be taken advantage of by the hackers. Now the solution or, or how you can protect yourself from a hacker is that it, uh, you know, that it, uh, again, you know, having very strong passwords, having firewalls, uh, regularly updating your system, and again, installing an antivirus software on your computer may prevent you to a very large degree or to a very good extent from a possible hacker. Moving on to another uh, source of threat, which is a malware. Now, the word malware, it comes from the term malicious, or you know, evil or dangerous sort of a software. Malware is essentially any software that infects and damages a computer system without the owner's knowledge or permission. And, and now how do you, you know, protect yourself from a malware? Well, you download an anti-malware program, which also, you know, uh, prevents, uh, that, you know, prevents your computer system from a number of infections. Then you have firewalls, and as I said earlier, have a nice sound antivirus. Moving on to the Trojan horse. Trojan horse are those email viruses that can duplicate themselves. They steal information and they can harm your computer. These viruses are the most serious threats to the computer. You know, as you may have heard of the historic Trojan horse, where the enemy's army hid inside a Trojan horse. Uh, and, you know, they came into, uh, into, uh, into the, the, the walls of the castle. And at night, out of the Trojan horse, came out all the enemy soldiers. And it resulted in the defeat of, uh, of those who were holding on to that castle. So in a very similar way, you know, seemingly benign, seemingly okay looking programs, softwares, uh, seemingly, you know, very urgent emails may be the one which may infect your system with a Trojan horse. The solution to that is uh, that, you know, uh, you use uh, security suits such as a vast internet security. You can use, again, very good antiviruses can also safeguard you from Trojan horse. With, and, you know, and be very uh, careful in your use of internet in order to prevent yourself 
from the Trojan horse. And let, let's say from, from allowing that Trojan horse to enter your system and then attacking you in the middle of the night on a lighter note. Another problem which, is, uh, which we may all have experienced at some stage, that is somebody cracking your password. Password attacks are attacks by hackers that are able to determine passwords or find passwords to different protected electronic areas such as your email as well as your social networking site. The solution to that is very simple. Firstly, use very strong passwords which are not easy to crack. I may add here that your mother's name or your child's name or your own name uh, are not very good examples of a strong password anyway. There should be something which a friend or a fro uh, or a complete stranger is not very easily able to guess. Further, as a precautionary measure, never use the same password for different sites. Uh, now let's look at some basic things which you can do in order to protect your computer. Number one, use security software. Maintain current softwares and update them regularly. Never share passwords, not even uh, you know, with acquaintances and friends. Sharing them with complete strangers is, uh, is, you know, is, is an outright absurdity, but also be very, very careful when you know, sharing uh, your passwords with friends or let's say closed ones. In fact, take my advice, do not do so. Then in, when you're browsing the internet, do not click random links, even especially those which are very, very tempting, because those which are you know, very tempting are the ones which, are, which is something that you're likely to regret later. Then do not download unfamiliar softwares from the internet. Log out and lock your computer. Remove unnecessary programs or services from your computer. Lastly, but most importantly, frequently back up important documents and files. Now, if you practice cybersecurity or if you adopt measures of cybersecurity, there are several advantages. It protects your system against viruses, worms, spyware, and other unwanted uh, programs. It protects your data from theft. It protects the computer from being hacked. Uh, it minimizes computer freezing and crashes. It gives privacy to users. And the biggest advantage of all, or biggest advantage of having cybersecurity in order to combat uh, cyber crime is a peace of mind. Make sure that you, your identity, your computer system, your documents are safe in order to you know, ensure your well-being.